Hey guys, this is Android at Night, and today I'll really quickly show you how you can fix the glass screen shield charging bug on the Samsung Galaxy S2. Uh, this is pretty easy to do if you know what you're doing. You need to be rooted, that's the first thing. Uh, if you're not rooted, I'll put a link in the description on my guide to root. Um, but it's pretty easy to do if you just go to XDA developers and go to the Galaxy S2 forums. The second thing you need to do is you need to download a custom kernel which is called Nymphetamine 2.0.5 and I'm now just going to show you the result of downloading that kernel so I'm just going to plug it in, same leads as I was using before if you haven't seen the bug, um, again I'll put a link in the description just to show you what the bug looks like but you can see now as you touch the bar, there we go that this is completely fine everything works really really nicely and there's no issue when you're charging using the glass screen shield from SGP so I know a lot of you guys are going to ask how to flash that kernel you just need to download it onto your computer and then just mount this, just plug the USB in to your computer and to your phone and then just mount and then drag and drop it across to the root of your SD card. Then once you've got that on the root of your SD card, and root just means that it's not in a folder, and it needs to be on the SD card of the actual phone, it can't be the um, sort of SD card that you can pull out, it has to be sort of the internal memory of the phone, if you will. Um, just power off. And obviously, as I said, you need to be rooted. And I'm pretty sure this works on pretty much any custom ROM. Um, it may not work on MUI, but uh, don't quote me on that. If you go to the thread, it should it should say which ROMs are supported and if you just search in the thread you should um, get any people sort of saying there's an error with a certain ROM but most should work I'm using Villain, um, you can also use I think Lightning works and I think it's the only other one I've tested really but uh, most should work if they're the most up to date version of Android and you just power on holding the three buttons and boot into Clockwork Recovery There we go, then you just need to scroll down to install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, and then you can see there I've got an amphetamine 2.0.5, and then you scroll down and hit yes, I'm not going to hit yes because I've already flashed it, but uh, hit yes, and then it will say installing, and you'll then get a little funny message after it says installing, which I can't really can't really say on camera because I'll probably get this video flagged, but uh, that's there, and then when you've done that it will take literally like 3 or 4 seconds and then it will just take you back to this screen so then you just go back with the power button and reboot and you will have an Amphetamine 2.0.5 installed and you'll be able to use a glass screen shield with no issues whatsoever so I uh, hope that helped you guys um, this is a great product and that was the only small default default defect or defect however you want to pronounce it um, and this sort of fixes that so uh, it's definitely worth flashing if you feel that you're competent to do it. If you need any more help, again, you can go to XDA or you can PM me and I will try my best to help you. So, uh, see you in the next video. Ta-da!